In the yellow light of the risen sun floating in the southeast notch, I come walking toward the river over frosted moss and crisping grass. I stand to listen closely to the speaking wind's low moan. Consider the wisdom of loss, noting weather wrinkles in gray wood cracks in lichen stone. Pause to taste momently the ring-packed potency in things, to sense the arc of willful chance. Turn to the new sun's glare off the ice frame moving mirror of the river. And just for this brief contracted space, hearing and feeling the cold wind zinging past, I'm alone. I'm not alone. Envelop once and all in peace, at peace, and of a peace once more with everything. My name is John Rule. My wife Margaret and I bought this place in 1963. We were scholar gypsies and we wanted a permanent home base, a piece of land where we could look at the universe and really enjoy life. We were actually afraid at first whether we could make a living here. But we did manage it and we loved it. We were here together for 40 years until I had to put Margaret into a nursing home. She passed away in August of 2009. When we looked around for the cheapest places we could find in the northern tier of Arkansas County because we loved this area, this part of the state, uh, of the nation. We got county maps and drew circles around every place that there seemed to be little or nothing in the way of human habitation. Then we went to those places, camped out, and then asked if there was any land for sale. And that's how we found these 151 acres in the upper frog bio drainage, which we could afford because it was so cheap. At first, we bought this part this, where the house sits. It's quarter of a quarter, 40 acres for uh, about three or four dollars an acre. It cost us quite a bit more to get the other half, but eventually we did get the other half, and the total price was $2,200. It has a little bit of everything one would wish. Heavy timber, nice clear running stream, three mountains, about 20 acres of bottomland. I had all kinds of plans for it. Had some idea of a, a sort of 19th century farm in mind. Everywhere I look, I can see things that did not go as I wished. But 
On the other hand, most of the wonderful things that have happened have been emotional. They've been developmental in me and in Margaret. This is where we were happiest and where we had resolved to stay as long as we possibly could.